Hello, my name is Brian Brochi, member head golf professional at Geneva National Resort and Club. Today, we're going to talk about which wedge is right for you. We have lots of options here, and we're going to discuss the differences. So I have a number of different wedges that I have that I'll switch in and out, depending on the golf course and conditions and the different types of bunkers. So I'll start with a 56 degree wedge that I have that has 15 degrees bounce. So you could imagine the bottom skid of a boat, how it pushes and skids off the water. That's exactly what this does. This bounce is from the leading edge to the back edge and there's 15 degrees there. So in essence, this is the perfect club for soft sand conditions, soft turf conditions, where it, that skid in effect won't allow the wedge to dig into the ground. Versus something like my 62 degree wedge, which only has eight degrees bounce and is much flatter from the leading edge to the back edge. So what you'll find with this is this wedge will dig into the sand more. So anywhere where there's very firm conditions, either grass or sand, this is the perfect wedge for that. I also even have TaylorMade's new high toe wedge with its ATV grind. In essence, it has multiple options so that I can play it fairly straight and have lower bounce. The moment I open the wedge up, I get a lot of bounce to be able to work with sand shots. So the issue of why I wouldn't necessarily use this every time, when I open it up, it adds loft to it so it won't necessarily go further. So it's good to have a number of options and I'll show you the difference on just a couple of basic sand shots on how big of a difference what club you use can affect the shot. So the first one I'm gonna demonstrate is my 62 degree wedge. It has very little bounce. So in getting to the shot, I'm gonna have to take a fairly full swing, but what I wanna demonstrate most importantly is how the club reacts with the sand and you'll see the result based on that. So as I set up to the flag, So you can see that that took a lot of sand and really splashed out. So what happens is that club digs into the ground and you can see it had a hard time, even with a, a fairly full swing, getting all the way back to the hole. So now I've got my 56 degree wedge, 15 degrees bounce, so a lot more bounce. It shouldn't dig nearly in, as much into the ground and should help me get further back to the hole. As you can see, less of a explosion out of the sand and you can actually see the back part of it where the skid really helps go off the sand and helps get that, even with not quite as hard a swing, it still got closer to the flag. Next I'm going to try this tailor-made high toe wedge. The bounce here again, I'm going to open up the club face to try to utilize that. So hopefully this slides through the, the sand and kind of acts as that skid again to get through the sand so I can get the ball all the way through there. The difference you'll see with this and why you would use this versus the 56, this is probably going to go a little bit higher. One thing I noticed here is this flag is kind of on the shelf up there. So uh, using a little more loft, even with more bounce, should help you get through the sand and fly all the way up to the flag. So make sure you visit the Pro Shop, try out all the different wedges, see which one's right for you, and then practice, practice, practice.